going on everyone? Chota Longwear back with another video. Today's video is going to be more of a, I uh, guess you could say a response kind of video. So there's been a few videos going around now and um, Budget Lawns was one, Turf Mechanic Brian and Girls Lawns and um, they all had good points. Don't get me wrong, but I want you guys to hear me out on my response to those videos. So the first thing I want to talk about is half of these YouTube creators out there are just people like me. Your average DIYer that has no experience at all. No industry in the experience when it comes to turf grass or fertilizer or what goes into manufacturing it even. I didn't go to school for turf grass science or turf or get a turf grass degree. I don't I don't I didn't I've never worked for a you know, a true green, a Scots, anything like that, and have first world experience of spraying lawns and fertilizing lawns and treating lawns. The only experience I have is growing up is working for my dad's lawn business and cutting grass. I, we never did any kind of fertilization when we did that stuff. And that's why I write, I do videos where I say, don't always listen to lawn care YouTubers. And when they're promoting products and that's why I say all the time that it's turned into an info commercial when it comes to lawn care on YouTube because at the end of the day do you really want to listen to that YouTuber that has zero experience working in the industry that has only really gotten experience from watching other YouTubers or other salesmen out there on YouTube you generally want to listen to someone like somebody like that I don't I want to listen to experts I want to listen to people that have gone to school for. I want to listen to people that have produced fertilizer before and that actually knows what it goes into making something. And it, that's why, like, just sit back and think about what you're watching sometimes. And before you go and click that link and you buy something and think about those people that have spent hours and time and money and, and, university time and just you know 20 plus years of being in a professional industry and think about those people and what they're saying before watching one of us and telling you what to buy so to budget lawns point i definitely in the pandemic you know it went through the roof the affiliate marketing when the pandemic came through lawn care obviously we we're watching more videos online and i'm guilty of it i mean one of the reasons why i started my channel was watching other youtubers out there um, and I fell into the affiliate marketing early on, uh, promoting for a salesman, you know, because that's pretty much all he really is, is a salesman. And if you got you guys follow me, you know who I'm talking about. And, um, you know, I just didn't agree on a couple of the things that, that happened to other YouTubers from him. And I wanted to get away from that particular salesman. So I did try something a little bit different this year. And I'm really just want to, want to make my channel a blog. Because if you guys know, lawn care, you really don't need much to do to have a nice lawn. Water, grass seed, fertilizer, it's really about it. If you get disease pressure and fungus pre you know, in your lawn, yeah, you might need to throw down a fungicide or two. There's really not a whole lot to it. And to girls lawns point, yeah, I would say most of the products out there are pretty similar, you know, and they're just packaged differently. And going back to girls lawn and to uh budget lawns you know i it's just you know the, the affiliate marketing has just gone way out of you know proportion now obviously it's cheaper for companies to send out products to people and have them use and have them promote and where so they don't have to do in-house marketing makes sense you know if you're a business you know i work i work for a small business in my town and um you know it makes sense but you know when it comes down to it, it it's just the lawn care youtube space is just i you guys know i you know what i call it it's an info commercial that's pretty much what it is that's why i really didn't want to do a ton of product reviews this year because i just feel like it's the same thing every time you know i'll go to youtube every day and i'll see my what i'm subscribed to and it's this product review or that product review or that's what this product did and this and that and don't get me wrong it's great to do product reviews but it's one thing to do a product review and be biased and not biased and what i mean by that is is 
when you're saying that you work with all these companies because you 100% agree with the product, what about those products that didn't work? Tell us about those products. So I just got done doing permanent lighting on my house. And I'll have a video about how I did it myself uh, probably in another week or two. And I got most of my stuff on Amazon because uh, that's where I uh, was able to get, you know, outsource a lot of the material from. And let's just be honest with each other. One of the first things we do when we buy something, and most of the time we're buying stuff probably on Amazon, is we're going down to the review section. And we're looking at both the positive and the negative reviews. So just be transparent with everybody when you do a review. And, and, and even if you don't wanna put those products up there that you didn't like, let people know. That's why I wanted to do the Gardena review. I saw a shit ton of reviews out there for that Gardena hose rail this year and people were not pointing out some of the obvious things. And did it hurt my chances of working with Gardena again? Yeah, but guess what? I gave you guys an honest review because you're going to be spending your own hard-earned money when it comes down to it. So hear me out. If you're doing a product review, do all your products that you're getting. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're just jealous of these people that are getting free product. I could care less if you're getting free product. I paid for all this permanent lighting myself. Most of the products that I got this year, I paid myself. And I don't hate on anybody that gets free product. But just be transparent and have a unbiased review. But I know it's hard for you guys to have an unbiased review because when you're putting affiliate links in your description, you're it's it's got to be somewhat biased because you want people to click on that link. You want to have a positive review. Because if you didn't have a positive review, you wouldn't be getting that small little commission that you're getting from someone clicking on that link. So again, it's just stop it, guys. It's a bias review. When you have an affiliate link in your description, it's a bias review. So I know today's video, I probably came off as some sort of douchebag, asshole, or hater, but I don't care. You know, where I'm from in Jersey, I'm a diehard Philly sports fan, and if you know anything about the, the Philadelphia sports scene, you guys know we're we're diehard fans and we tell it like it is we'll boo anybody we'll yell at you we'll curse at you we call on the sports radio every day to you know tell us tell everybody how we feel and that's just what i'm doing here i'm telling you how i feel and whether you agree with it or not it's okay because at the end of the day to me doing this it's just therapy in a way it's stress relief it's working all day and and just enjoying creating and editing videos and doing something I never thought I would do before. Because honestly, growing up, I was always more of the shy person. And and obviously, I'm only talking to a camera. I'm not talking to in a group of uh, people or a crowd. But I was always the person that was always shy and not wanting to talk to people and, and get out in front of people. So for me, this is a good thing for me, you know? And... If you like my material or my content this year, thank you. And to all my subscribers out there, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope I get some sort of message across to you and everybody that's watching. If you're into someone that just likes to tell it like it is or come off the cuff and I don't really put scripts together when I'm doing my videos. I don't write down anything. I just usually get the camera inside, come out here outside and just tell you what's on my mind and tell you about what my experience have been with either a product or a, or what's going on in my yard so if you enjoy that kind of stuff you know subscribe to my channel because that's what i'm going to continue to do here for the remainder of 2022 and then to 2023 so again if this is your first time watching subscribe and if you, this is you coming back and watching this video and you have been subscribed thank you as well and like always guys I'll see you in the next one.